It is Tuesday, 8 in the morning. Yesterday was my husband's birthday, so today I am a hungover. And I have orders that have to go out, so I need to get to work and I need to eat something because I'm getting nauseous. So far, um, I woke up early though. I woke up at um, I need to get out at least four more for today. So three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven have to go out today. So I'm just gonna try and speed through today and hopefully I can get everything out. So here we go. I ruined two shirts, two shirts. And to make matters worse, two tea, which you can't find two tea anywhere right now. Um, 
so I keep messing up with the Ricoma. Um, it's not the machine, like these, I'm gonna show you. So with the EM1010, the colors go one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. With this one is the opposite. It goes one, two, three, and then four, five, six. It goes from this one down, and this one is opposite. It's this from this one come up like that, and then. So I guess I got confused and I kept putting the wrong color, so I'm redoing this one, and um, yeah. Today's not a good day. Today's not a good embroidery day. I feel better though. I ate. Food is the best hangover cure. Okay, back to work. It's a whole new day. <sighs> so I woke up this morning and I came across one of my pictures on Etsy. One of my pictures, but it's another shop that has, that's using my pictures. Um, it's happened to me before and I usually just send them a message like, hey, take down my picture, that's my picture. Um, yeah. I think just what aggravates me the most, I mean the computer, um, is like, I've came across several shops that use my, my pictures. I even had people send me messages like i didn't know you sold on amazon and i don't and my pictures are on amazon too which i mean i know i'm not the only one that this happens to but i don't even think there's much that i can do about it they uh, there's a, this this last um 
incident, I sent them a message and they just put their shop on vacation mode. They didn't reply, they nothing. It's happened to me two other times and I came across my picture totally by accident. Totally by accident. I went on Etsy to um, see how my listing was showing up, right? So I searched the the theme and I wanted to see how high or low my listing was like ranking in the on Etsy and um, I saw a, a tutu that looked very similar to mine very similar and of course I got curious I clicked on it and it wasn't my picture but it the tutu just was like identical which I don't know. I, I mean, I don't. I, I don't care about the copying. Like we all take, you know, ideas from other people. But I got curious because it was the tutu that has like the tool sticking out at the bottom. Which I'm like, okay, you know, maybe they saw my video. They make their own, like whatever. So I clicked on it, and then um, I go to their to their shop, and they have like a lot of the same styles that like almost all the listings were like my shop but it was theirs their their own picture so i wasn't really like tripping about it or nothing but then i clicked on one and um i looked down at the review and the review had my picture so that means that they made a sale or i don't know how many sales with my picture and then i guess once they made their own they updated the picture but they used my picture like i said i don't care about the i mean it, it does get a little bit of i like i don't even know how to explain it like I don't want to say I care too much about the copying because it it's inevitable, 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 whatever. And <laughs> um, yeah, so that was that. Uh, I did send them a message. I was like, hey, that's that's my picture. That's not cool. Whatever. They're like, yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Like, done. And then I saw another shop. They also had my picture. Uh, and same. I was like, take it down. They did. So, you know what? Like, more than anything, um, rather than, than people, like, taking the picture, what really bothers me is not so much that they took the picture. Like, the, the, that one shop like took the picture and then copy paste the title the description everything copy paste but what they didn't take is the price so here's my picture on etsy and then here's their picture which is the same picture as mine so there's two listings with the same picture on etsy and they reduce the price like buy a lot so here's mine that's let's say 75 dollars and here's theirs that is 50 dollars what do you think people are gonna buy if it's the same picture if it's the same description if like and a lot of people don't care about the reviews they they want to say <laughs> they want to save money so um that that's 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 what really pissed me off with with that one person that did that if you're gonna take everything take the damn price too but no they put it way cheaper and it's i feel like they're telling me f you i'm taking your sale that's that's how i feel because if if somebody buys it from them they like my picture they like my product they like my work so they're trying to buy what i made 
and here's them claiming <sighs> anyways um yeah so mm, i don't i don't think i don't think there's much i can do i mean i do put the watermarks on my pictures but they still um the two shops that i found they uploaded with my watermark and then the last one the one i found right now they removed the watermark so yeah i don't know anyways mm, i have three outfits that have to go out today one i am dealing with a customer that is being very difficult she's not being difficult she just keeps I guess it was a miscommunication and she doesn't like what I came up with for the shirt but I, had, I was under the impression that's what she wanted because she sent me a picture so then I put it together and she's like no I want it like this but she sends me a shirt that is I don't know printed sublimation whatever and I told her like I don't do those and she's like well can you match it but it's a very difficult picture to match it's it, it and then it looks completely different than what the, the picture she sent me so i don't understand why she sent me that first picture so i made her tutu i haven't made the shirt so it has to ship today and i haven't heard back so i don't know i don't know the good thing is that she's local so it wouldn't take long to get to her so i think i have I'll give her today the whole day to see what she she's going to want. And then I'm just going to work on the two orders that have to go out today. And then tomorrow, three go out. So I'm going to have to work, um, try and get those out too. Okay. So today I'm using all types of blanks. I have AJ blanks. I have these that were sent to me. Um, these... I got from she sent them to me and I was gonna say thank you I was running low on 2t shirts and I couldn't find any so yes and then these were also sent to me these are different styles they have like the little ruffle at the sleeve they feel nice. I haven't embroidered these out, um, but they feel they feel nice and thick. And then this one I have embroidered out, and it did really nice. <clears throat> and then you know my favorite AJ blanks. And then I have ARB over here. So I'm using all kinds of shirts today. I do have a link down at the bottom for AJ Blanks. Um, I do make a small commission off of my link. If you guys use my link, I do get uh, some money. But I did want to show you guys um, these other brands because it's good to have options. You know, like there's just times where some sites will be out of stock of a particular size and we try to find that one size somewhere else so i don't know it's just i think it's good to have options so they all feel very nice but hands down i mean you guys know my favorite is aj blanks their shipping is just hella fast you can't honestly you can't that is the first place i go to go find everything that i want and if i can't find a particular size then i do go to other sites to find the size um, I like ARB as well, but their shipping is not as fast as AJ Blank, so that's why AJ Blank is always my first to go. So I just want to say thank you to Joanna who sent me these to try out, and to Pia, or I think I, I hope I said that right, for sending me also blanks.